breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Rufai criticized Tinubu, Obi Atiku, others over their economic ideas on the Naira flotation. I told them, textbook economics econ is different. They said my mouth, they smell. Now, see what is happening. You know, before or before or during the election, Rufai Hussaini, you know, kept talking about looking at all that they have, all, all that they were saying they were going to do with re regards to the to the nation, how they intend to go about things. So far as any continue to speak that the ideas that they are having or whatever they are doing, you know, what they are what they are proposing, he said is totally out of touch with reality, saying that, you know, uh, and today we all know that the Naira is having what we call a free flow, a free fall. The Naira is just dropping, 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 saying something is seriously, seriously, seriously wrong. And every single individual needs to understand what is going on. In fact, he criticized everybody, including the president. He said, you are totally, completely out of touch with reality. Although the government has injected a particular amount of money into the society, however, it does not show. It does not show. So please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Before I criticize Tinubu, Obi, and others, economic idea, ideology on Naira flotation, I told them textbook economics is different from real life. They said then, say my mouth, they smell. See what is happening. Hosseini Rufai, an Arise TV presenter, has criticized as critically examine the economic ideology behind the decision to float the nation's currency, taking issues with economists, including notable figures like the President Tinubu and former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi, who also gave that as part of what he would have done if being the president. The chaos and hardship that, ens that ensued in the, mo in the month following Tinubu's cancellation of the subsidy on the Forex exchange and fuel upon assumption, or assuming the position of the commander-in-chief has raised concerns about the effectiveness of the economic strategy. It is notably to be noted that duly during the last presidential election, there is much more going on and everybody can see. It is worthy of note that during the last presidential election, both President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Atiku Abubakar, and Peter Obi, among other candidates, pledged in their manifesto to float the nation's currency and eliminate subsidy on petrol. This shift allowed buyers and sellers of foreign currency in the official forex market to to quote rates based on preference, directing directing and, or, and providing practical terms where rates were decided upon by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Expressing his view through his social media handle, Rufai Oseni marked, I told them that whether Tinubu, Obi or Atiko, these things does not work. Coming to give us a textbook knowledge of what you have read, potentially thinking it will work, does not give it the opportunity to work effectively and to be a reality. Real life is different from textbook assumed position. So let's tell ourselves the truth. There are things really not happening well in this country. Everyone who is supposed to be doing something different in order to make the nation work is practically doing nothing. And so the nation is suffering as a result of this. We need to rise up and ensure that we are putting things in position to bring Nigeria out of the current dispensation. So see what is happening right now. See what is going on. Every single person can see that there is serious need for every one of us to arise and to not, you know, to not leave ourselves in the hands of those who have no clear cut, you know, uh, no clear cut definition on how a country work and how things should be done decently and in order. So Rufa Hosseini said, I told them, I did, I told them that things are quite different and that um, for the for the nation to work, 
there should be something different but you know what they did not quite they did not quite listen every one of them were quick to give us their manifesto now see to it see what is going on and why you know the naira is just like in a free fall zone it ought not to be so when our when our currency is not gaining it is because we are not exporting look at for instance the rice rice can be harvested twice in a year nigeria have a large hectare of land now this rice cannot be planted because of insecurity you get me now because of insecurity now if this rice can be if this if about, about let's say a million hectare of this country is put to the production of rice yes and um, you know there is security for it and we do that twice a year the price of things will not only fall in the country but the, but the price of it will not only fall in, the, in Nigeria, but guess what? It will also affect the nation. We also will not begin to export. Then our dollar, and then the dollar to Naira, you begin to see the, you begin to see the difference. You begin to see it rising. You begin, if we don't export, we're always importing. What do you expect? It will go like four, like a dead man. No, we're small. You and your sibling, one will be behind you. You'll be, and you say, four, and you will just fall, hoping and, you know, wishing that your sibling will hold you. What betide your soul if he misses you or he mistakenly leaves? That your head will just land on the ground. Boom! And you will cry. You will try to settle it. And the next time it begins to build your confidence in people, you begin to see that I don't need to trust everybody. But what are we saying in essence? We have not learned anything from what has been going on. If we really want to see this nation move forward, there's much more to be done rather than practical theory terms. Because it worked for, for Thailand, it does not mean that uh, it is the same principle for Nigeria. You need to find your own. You need to find yourself. Those people, they have, a, they have a nation where insecurity is not part of their problem. Nigeria today, we know how bad insecurity has dealt with the nation and with the people. So if we want to really, you know, uh, begin to ensure that things are done properly, there is a different approach that we all must, must sustain in order to ensure that things are done differently to bring this nation to where it ought to be. As it stands at the moment, there is a lot more going on and Nigerians have a sole duty of care to ensure that they speak against everything and anything that is not working for us as a nation and as a people. There are so many things happening and we all have got a duty of care to ensure that, you know, we do what is right. When I said it, Daddy, they say, ah, you don't know anything. You are a small boy. We run the show. We are the ones in charge of these things. You, you don't know anything. You, you're just there giving your analysis at uh, Arise TV. He said, but he told them then, because according to him, if, even if it was a B or a Tiko that has won instead of Tinubu, he said it, the case might, may not have been different because they all have the same idea. The plan with regards to the Naira was exactly what Tinubu is doing, and it won't have been different. So don't think that if, if Obi was there or Atiku was there, some other form of magic would have been performed to get, you know, to get the nation out of the current state it currently is in right now. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Don't forget to please give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button. So you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.